In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the SUMIFS function while working with a table range. So first, I'm going to go ahead and convert this area to a table. I'm going to click the Home ribbon, Format as Table, and select this table style. I do have headers in my table, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, I have my filters up here. For the sum if function, what I want to do is I want to determine the number of BT courses that are being offered through the business department. And that is two different criteria from two different columns. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and click in cell H1. I'm going to go up to formulas, math and trig. I'm going to choose sum ifs. In the sum range, I select the number of courses listed here. For criteria range one and criteria one, remember these work together. So what I wanna do is I wanna select the criteria range first. The big difference with performing a sum if in a table range is that you don't need to put the text criteria in quotes. You can just type it directly into the box here. For criteria two, I'm going to select all of the courses listed here. And for that range, I'm going to look for the BT courses, but because all the BT courses have different numbers after them, I have to use my wildcard character to look for any BT courses within this range. And now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it found four courses, which I know to be correct because here's business, business, BT, BT, one and three equals four. But the cool thing about using a table range when you do a sum if is that you can quickly filter to determine if your numbers are correct. So for instance, I'm going to come here and uncheck select all. I just want business selected. I'll click OK to that. And then in here, since I have several BTs, I'm going to go ahead and go through text filter contains and I'll type in BT here and OK, and as you can see, it has filtered out all of the other departments and courses, and I can easily see that this range calculates to four. However, when you work with tables, tables have tools, so I'm going to go ahead and enter on the Table Tools Design tab right here. It says Total Row. That quickly adds a sum right here, and I would also be able to average, count, max, min, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and leave that at sum. So just keep in mind that when you are performing a sum if with a table, you don't have to put your text strings within quotation marks. And also take note that you can filter your results to check your numbers. That's it, thank you for watching.